Hi guys, Steph here. Okie dokie, what we got for you today? Nice and simple, you can see what we've got for you. Um, this is a pen that I picked up on um, my recent travels. So what we'll do, let's take the outer sleeve off. So we've got the Waterman box, we've got this little uh, sort of, I don't know, a guarantee leaflet with a little card. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't appear to be stamped, but a little guarantee card with it as well and as you can see inside here we've got the Waterman pen so let's open it up and take a look at that beauty let's take the pen out of the box let's pop the box to one side and there we have it what a lovely handsome fountain pen we've got here what we've got for you today is a Waterman Le Mans 100 Opera Fountain Pen or well if you're in the UK I believe the term just simply as the Waterman Man 100 um, so depending what country you are but in this case we're going to call it the Waterman Le Mans 100 as I say it's the Opera this particular model Waterman launched around about I believe around about 1983 and I think they went through to sort of the very late 1990s um, they came in numerous different sort of uh, patterns and finishes um, this one what they term as I say is the opera and you can see it's got this lovely chased pattern to the pen and that's sort of quite reminiscent to the sort of the early Waterman ideal fountain pens because these were launched um, I think for the Waterman's 100th anniversary and although it's quite a modern pen they sort of took took a little bit from the early vintage pens with these well with this lovely chasing pattern which I think is absolutely absolutely lovely as you can see now the Le Mans 100 is quite a large pen i.e. from the top of the cap to the bottom of the um, the barrel it's round about 144 millimeters capped um, around the barrel um, <coughs> excuse me it's a tad over 12 millimeters in diameter so it's a lovely large pen and it's quite and well it's not heavy but it is, you know, the weight is sort of a little bit heavier than what I would term as a standard vintage pen. But all in all, a lovely quality and a very handsome made pen. As you can see, it comes with gold filled trim to the bottom of the barrel. We've got these two little cap bands there um, to the cap. We've got these two rather wide cap cap bands and if I bring it a little bit closer for you you'll see it says Waterman and then if we rotate it slightly made in France so as with a lot of these pens of this particular period a lot of the Watermans as some of you will know some of you won't were made in France coming back to the trim if we take you to the to the clip there you've got this quite a recognizable quite a long waterman clip with this cut out sort of V to the center of the clip there to the very top we've got this finial this top of the cap there and to the very top of the cap we've got the the button a gold button with the letter W for waterman so as I say, all in all, a very nice fountain pen. Very handsome in my opinion and I quite like, because I'm a vintage person, I quite like this chasing, chasing to, the, to the pen itself. It looks very, very nice indeed. So let's take the cap off, which is a friction fit cap. There you go. Let's give you numerous different angles of the pen okay 
Incidentally, the pen itself in, although I think it, well, it is actually, well, it's obviously, it's not brand new, it's a used pen, but in excellent, excellent condition. Um, you know, there's no sort of restoration that I've, I've had to done. It's ready to go to the new customer. If we take you up to the section, you can see to the top of the barrel there, we've got this um, quite a large, this, this would be a sort of, I would think, a clutch band, but... We've got this ring just to the top of the barrel or the bottom of the section. The section quite a long taper slightly towards the nib. And then near the nib there, we've got these, or this sort of, again, this gold band just below the nib there. And if we take you, show you the nib, we've got a lovely nib there. As you can see, it's a two-tone nib. And it's a, well, an ideal Waterman 18 carat 750 and then to the very bottom there we've got Paris so it's a 18 carat gold two-tone nib with a platinum mask to the outside there and as you can see to the very top there we've got the sort of very reminiscent sort of ideal logo to the very top there Let's maybe just give you a little bit of a different angle because it is a lovely nib. Very nice indeed. And if we turn it round for you, show you the feed. Okay, quite a modern feed. And then you can see to the very centre of the feed, it has a letter F indicating that what we've got here is a fine, fine nib. But all in all, a lovely large nib, 18 carat, which again, very nice, but a lovely pen, very handsome, a lovely oversized pen in my hands, and I've got, I repeat it every time in the videos, I've got large hands, very comfortable pen for me to hold and to write with. It's actually a cartridge converter, which means if we unscrew the section, you can see we've got the Waterman converter inside there. Never been used. Well, by the looks of it, it's never been used. We've got a brass thread to the section there. Let's pop the cap back, sorry, the barrel back on. So all in all, as I say, a very handsome, a lovely weighted pen in my opinion. Although it's a little bit heavier than my normal sort of vintage pens it's still a lovely weight and a lovely size for me personally I'm not going to fill the pen because as I said I don't think it's actually been inked but what we'll do be interested to see how it writes let's just do let's just do a dip sample so what we have is a Waterman Ideal Le Man or Man depending again what country we're coming from 100 and this particular one is what we term as the Opera with these with this chase pattern Made in France, as we said, and again, well, I believe they actually sort of launched these pens around 1983, and again, through to the late 1900s. It's actually writing very nicely indeed, as you would expect from a quality pen like this. And when I say a quality pen, um, the Le Mans range, the Le Mans 100 range, at that particular period when they launched them, were actually the top of the range within the Waterman pens. So it's quite a very sort of sought after and, well, yeah, as I say, the top of the range of the period. So... A very nice example. 
So there we go, as it says, writing with a fine line, writing very nicely, very smooth, as you'd expect from a lovely quality pen like this. So, there we have it. So what we're going to do is try and find a new home for this pen. I know there's people that are actually looking for these pens because, well, obviously they're no longer available. So anyone that may be interested, they can simply contact me because we're looking for a new home for it. A gorgeous, handsome fountain pen from Waterman. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, down below, leave a comment. Don't be shy. Have you subscribed? If not, why not subscribe now? And last but not least, don't forget, people, wherever you are around the world, please stay safe. But for now, I'll just say bye-bye for now.